Welcome to this WiseL tutorial. If you watched the last part of this video series, you might remember that we applied some conditional formats to some film Oscar nominations values. We had the situation where if, if a film was nominated for two or fewer Oscars, it received a purple background. If it was nominated for between three and ten Oscars, it had a yellow background, and any more than ten nominations, it had a green background. We're going to look at a couple of other styles of conditional formatting in this part of the series. And the first one is going to be using a data bar. The idea of a data bar is that it applies a different width or length bar to cells with different values in them. And we're going to use this to show the film durations in minutes with different size bars. To start with, I need to select all of the film duration values. I can click on cell F2. Hold down Control and Shift and tap the down arrow key to select them all. I can then go to the conditional formatting tool and this time I'm going to look at the data bars option. Now in the flyer menu really all you've got a choice of is what colour of bar you want to use and if you're not sure you can try hovering your mouse over the different options to see a live preview on the left. So I'm going to go with this top left hand corner, the pale blue one, I quite like that one. I'm going to click on that and immediately I get my data bars applied to the cells. And the idea behind this is that the larger the number in the cell, the bigger the bar, the smaller the number, the shorter the bar. Fairly simple. It's quite cool, it works dynamically as well. If I change the width of a column, the width of the bars changes in proportion. I'll take that back a little bit. One slightly disappointing thing is that the width of the bar or at least the width of the shortest bar is determined by Excel. The shortest film in our list is Men in Black 2. Unfortunately uh, that didn't last any longer than 88 minutes. Uh, but Excel still shows that with a data bar which fills at least half the cell, or almost half the cell. So we're going to make some modifications to tell Excel to use uh, a slightly different value for the shortest bar. To do that I need to select any cell that has the data bar applied to it. Head to Conditional Formatting and choose Manage Rules. I can find my data bar item in the list, click on it and then choose Edit Rule. I get quite a lot of options available here. I'm just going to restrict myself to modifying T, which is the minimum value for the width of a bar and the maximum. So instead of automatic for the minimum bar length. I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and tell Excel to use the lowest value from the range of cells that I had selected. So that means that the lowest bar width, the minimum shortest bar would be would use the value of 88 minutes. Likewise for the maximum, I'm going to tell Excel to use the highest value in the range of cells. I could change some formatting properties here but I quite like the pale blue one that I selected earlier. So I'm just going to click OK. When I click OK again, keep a quick eye on what happens to the value of the 88 bar there. And there we go. So now Excel's picking up that the value 88 is the smallest number in the range and the shortest bar is applied set at the value of 88. So that's what the data bar looks like. One more example we're going to look at is to do with something called icon sets and on training courses that we run this is always everybody's favorite style of conditional format. You always look quite excited at this point. So icon sets. We're going to apply icon sets to our budget column. I'd like an example where the, the smaller the amount of money I spend on a film to make it, I get a green traffic light. Films where I spend a lot of money to make it, I get a red traffic light. And anything in the middle, I get an orange traffic light. So again, the starting point is to select all of the cells I want to format. Click on cell G2, Control Shift, and Down Arrow. Once I've done that, I can go to the conditional formatting tool and find the set, find the formatting option that I'm interested in. I should just mention I'm skipping colour scales in this tutorial. I think they're just a little bit too gaudy for my tastes. The idea is that they apply a different sort of colour range from hot to cold colours to represent the scale of numbers. We're going to avoid those. We're going to jump straight to icon sets. And here we go. Here's the exciting options. I'm going to find the uh, my traditional one that I always go for, which is the three traffic lights, green, amber, red, and simply click on it. And as in most things with conditional formatting, Excel determines for itself which cell should get a red traffic light, which ones get an orange, and which ones get a green. 
and really irritatingly, it applies it in completely the wrong order for the example I was trying to go for. It's the cells with the lower budget which gets the red traffic lights and the ones with the higher budget which gets the green. So I'm going to modify that, I'm going to change the order of my traffic lights. To do that, I click into a cell with the format applied to it, head to the conditional formatting tool, and choose manage rules again. You should be getting kind of used to this by now. Click on the option that I want to modify, the icon set rule, click edit rule, and oh, how convenient, there's a nice little button there that I can click on to reverse the order of my icons. If I click on it, green will flip with red, so here we go, that's red to green. I could also, if I wanted to, change the way Excel applies the uh, or decides to apply the traffic lights. By default it does it by percentages. I could modify this to pick a specific number that's, that have the red light and a specific number that have the orange light and so on and so on and so on. But I'm going to leave those as is. I quite like the, uh, the percentage dial for this example. So when I click OK and click OK one more time I should find now that I have the symbols that I want. So there we go. You now know how to use data bars and icon sets in conditional formats for Excel.